good day, McVeigh, and welcome to our show this morning. We're going to start off with something very cool, Mr. Angeli. I can't we wait. We have Kate Reynolds with some math. Come on over, Kate. Now, this is pretty advanced. So what do you have here today, Kate? I have the Fibonacci and Golden Ratio. Okay. The Fibonacci and Golden Ratio. Okay, so what is the Fibonacci sequence or the Fibonacci ratio? Tell us about that. Um, well, it's when you add up the number before it, and the only part where it doesn't work is when you start with zero, because then you have to start somewhere, so you add one to it. Okay, so uh, let's go slowly so that people understand this. So if I start with one, what is the sequence? Give me the first five numbers. One, two, three, five, eight. Eight, okay. So how did you get two? I did one plus one to get two, and then... How did you get three? One plus two to get three. Okay, so to get, to follow the Fibonacci sequence, you have to add the two numbers prior. So, to be a three, you add two and one, because those are the two numbers. Then, we went to five. Why did we go to five? Because we added three and two. Because of those are the two numbers. So then we got to eight. So we added five and three. All right. So let's see if anybody can figure out the next number. What would be the next number in the Fibonacci sequence if you had the two numbers prior? Listen again. One, two, three, five, eight. What would be the next number? Okay. So what? Uh, what is so cool about this? Um, well, for me, it's just because I love math, uh -huh. honestly. As do I. And um, I like seeing how numbers can increase and decrease. Yes, absolutely. And so um, what made you decide <laughs> to study uh, Fibonacci? Um, well, I miss doing math leads with ah. Mr. Angeli, ah. so I thought of doing some ah. stuff on my own. Great. Okay. And, you know, she went all the way up. What's your top number right there? 16,144,282. And this is only one, two, three. That's your sixth line on the paper, right? This could go for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good job. Okay, so what else do you have? Then for the golden ratio, it all goes with the Fibonacci as well. It's if you divide the number in front of it. So I have 7,315, well, 11,836 right. divided by 7,000. 315 and then every time you do that you'd get 1.6 right so so um yeah so this is the uh the essence of the fibonacci sequence mm -hmm. it's the golden rule so if you take that number whatever number you get to and you divide it by the number prior you get 1.6 so if i took 8 and divided it by 5 what would i get 1.6 1.6 every single time so for those of you who are learning decimals that's one and six tenths exactly and um so what do you have here at the bottom i wrote the secret to the universe is 1.6 <laughs> okay so um did we get an answer to that mr angeli we asked a question what the next number in the sequence would be 13 13 who gave us that that came from mr Collin and miss sklar and mr Collin also backed up with a great job reynolds Okay, so if we went, so um, let's go back. So we had 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. What's the next number after 13? Let's see if anybody can figure that out to follow the Fibonacci sequence. And if, again, if I took 13 and divided by 8, what would I get? 1.6. Yeah, <laughs> 1 and 6 tenths. Excellent. Oh, Ms. Clark came in with 21. 21, that's correct. That's the Fibonacci sequence. And you can see here she did all the math as well. Fantastic. Um, that's fantastic, right? I, I went to the wrong page. I did 36 up in the Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, um, really good work. Uh, I love numbers as well. I love the way they interact with each other. So um, what's next? Um, I don't really know yet. Hi, huh, you have any suggestions, Mr. Angeli? Um, let me think about that. Let me come up with a couple of things, but we'll talk. We'll All talk. right. Maybe we can get some, because uh, there's a lot of um, uh, very cool uh, formulas, um, number interactions that she might be able to share as well that I'm thinking of. I think so. All right. High five. Nice work. Okay. All right, girls, come on over. So what do we have today? Oh, I love this one. Maybe this would be our uh, kindest moment of the day uh, because this actually is called Be Kind. Be Kind. And uh, we have Alexa, Noel, and Natalie here for that. So what do you want to tell us about that? 
um, sit next to other people and make new friends. Right. So um, we have new people coming to our school all the time. All the time. Yeah. So sitting next to somebody new is kind. Invite someone sad to join your group. Invite someone sad to join your group. That was actually going to be our mighty kind moment of the day. Um, somebody wrote about that. Uh, how about this one? Help clean up. You know, help clean up. So listen, sometimes, boys and girls, you don't make the mess. But you can help clean it up for sure, and that is being very kind. Um, what else? What is this one? Never be mean. Yeah, never be mean, because certainly being mean is unkind. Uh, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. Who wants to read this? Go ahead, Natalie. Be kind. Be kind to each another and yourself. Okay. So listen to this one, Mr. Minerva. Be kind to each other and yourself. What does it mean to be kind to yourself? What do you think? What do you think? Maybe like, I don't know. Did you ever hear somebody who said something about themselves that's not very nice or, or maybe it's even sad? They'll say, oh. I do that to myself sometimes. Yeah, like what would be an example? Um, like when I say that I'm bad to myself. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to be kind to ourselves as well. Sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Sometimes we say things, oh, I look terrible today, or I wish I... Um, you know, was a better, uh, you know, was like that person, or we'll say I'm terrible at soccer, whatever. That's being unkind to ourselves. We have to be kind to each other and to ourselves. Very important. And um, uh, I love this one. What does that one say? Keep, keep our our country our, clean. Keep our country clean. So being kind to the earth. What does it mean to keep our country clean? Don't throw um, like stuff that you drink on the on the street. Yeah, keep your garbage in the garbage, right? Yeah, and no littering. No littering, 100%. I always wonder, how does all the garbage get on the ground if people um, use the cans, right? Just put the garbage in the can. Be kind to each other and the earth. 100%. Always yourself. High five, girls. Good work. All right. All right. So we only have two projects today because we also want to talk about something else. Boys and girls, uh, we are going to be working on our secret hiding places next week during dismissal. So I have a question for you. Actually, I think I'll ask Mr. Minerva. Mr. Minerva, if it was dismissal and you were on your way to the bus line and you had to go to your secret hiding place, where would you go? Well, the first thing, if there were a teacher around to show me somewhere to go, I would follow where they took me in. If there was absolutely no teachers or no classes, I would get into a room, a dark room or quiet room and go hide as best I can inside that room. Yeah, me too. I would just go to the closest room, jump right in there and find a cool hiding place. A hundred percent. Would you be talking, Miss Minerva? Absolutely not. You want to stay as quiet as you possibly can. Quiet like a mouse. Quiet like a mouse. What if you were in the cafeteria already? And you had to go to secret hiding place. Where would you hide? The inside the kitchen area of the cafeteria mm -hmm. is your best place to go. There are a lot of hiding places in there and doors that you can go behind in there. Wow, Mr. Minerva's all over that. I would do that too. I would go right into the eating area, find a little hiding spot, and wait. Mm -hmm. Now, what if what if you were in the gym, Miss Minerva? Where would you go? The gym also has doors. If you were in the gym, there are bathrooms in there that you can go into. There's a closet in there. You go into one of those bathrooms and go hide it as far back as you can. Yeah, that's one of my favorite hiding time. places. In fact, sometimes when I'm trying to get away from Mr. Minerva, that's where I hide. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, boys and girls. I'm telling you, you could use it. Okay, so we're going to practice and see how this goes next week. We have to be um, super quiet when we go into our secret hiding places. But, hmm, where would you go? Hmm. And would you, if you were by yourself, could you find a cool place? I mean, 
I would like to find a cool place. Sometimes I do that on the weekends. I come here and try to find cool places to hide, you know. Uh, but so boys and girls, think about that. Where would you go? And maybe your teachers will talk to you too. Where would you go if you were in the hall, you had all your book bag and your coat with you? What would you do? Where would you go? All right. So we'll be talking more about that, but we're going to be practicing that next week. And we already had our mighty kind moment of the day. Uh, so we're going to uh, end today with some thoughts. Hmm, what would I do? Hmm. And of course, boys and girls, uh, never forget, every day is a good day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.